remember, you won't see hidden copy codes without the glasses. Make sure you're wearing them while you search. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would... It's... Of course, it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess some... This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad. I guess we just... You did all... Uh-huh. Door's unlocked. Let's go inside. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. It's hard to believe I'm really here. In regards to Nuka-Cola Clear Production, I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote quantum. That's it. That's it. You a fan of antique spots? down from D.C. to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be treated with the respect that they deserve. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the U.S. military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military's LeapX program. How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception, and I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine? Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal, then get me on the Leap X list. And I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. Hi, Sierra. Stop you trying to talk me out of it. You figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Leapex program, you've got yourself a deal. Come on. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. Be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? 
I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. It was such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest? It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. A... Uh, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Yeah, if our places were reversed, I'd probably want the same thing. Then I trust you will honor my wish. You can't kill him! He's a great man! He invented Nuka-Cola! The best thing in the world! Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone, and staring at the same wall, decade after decade. Now please shut up, while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy. Mm -hmm. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please. Set me free at last. I can't bear. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah. That's not happening. I want that experimental ammunition. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least, hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well... I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Free at last. You wanted the Nuka-Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. 
You killed the man who was my greatest hero. Who the hell are you to just... Uh-huh. You're being selfish, Sierra. This wasn't about what you wanted. This was about what he needed. What he needed? I hadn't thought of it that way. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It, it hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for, I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it was... Uh-huh. You're welcome. Here. I know it's not much, but I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm gonna need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum.